Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away. I can't believe it's October. It's October already. And I am here to bring you explorations of me for the month of October. And the prompt this month that Cindy gave us was our favorite decade. So I really want to thank my husband because he way helped me step out of the box on this one. Um, when Cindy gave this prompt, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, was it the 80s? Was it the 90s? Was it 2000, 2010? Was it the teens? You know, because there's so many good things and bad things that happened, you know, um, during those decades. And I was sitting in my chair and I was just really contemplating what I wanted to do. And my husband said, um, why does it have to be? A decade that you know you lived in or why does it have to be a decade that you know where you were a adult in because uh, God knows we don't want to go back to those teenage years <laughs> they sucked um, so he really snapped me out of it and I told him I said thanks for thinking outside the box because I always put myself in a box and he said you know he goes I always think outside the box because that's my problem. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? What a horrible problem to have <laughs> because that's my goal. That's what I strive to accomplish is to think outside the box. So I'm thinking outside the box and I'm going to uh, do this page and it's going to be dedicated to my favorite decade. I'm not going to tell you what it is until the very end. And I am going to dry up this gesso and go ahead and get started. Uh, put this to music and I will catch you on the flip side.
I have finished my project and I want to show you a few things that I did off screen. Um, I put some flowers on here because the 60s kind of remind me of flower power and I decided to use flowers and I colored them in with my Posca pens and put some white dots on there because um, the different colors are the colors of the rainbow in my um, splash of color that kind of reminds me of, you know, tie dye. Um, on the hands, the holding hands, I wrote be kind because this during the sixties was kind of the time of free love and, and just being kind and self and, and accepting of one another, um, which I think is an important message. And, um, let me pull this up so you can see it better. And I put some little dots where it says 60s and around my title. But wow, I really think this turned out cool. Uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. And please be sure to check, <clears throat> excuse me, please be sure to check the links below for the other artists that are participating um, for Cindy's explorations of me. Um, all the products that I use will be listed in the description below with links to where you can get them. And let me see anything else. Oh, yes, most importantly, have a great day, be good, and most importantly, please be nice to one another. It's really not that difficult. Have a great week, y'all.